I'm looking a little fluffy today. My hair are all over the place. I do have an appointment later today, but first coffee and then filming. Good morning, you guys. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today we are going to make another balloon garland. This time we are reviewing another kit from the company that I already worked with. Uh, the name of the company is Kere Shut. I hope I pronounced it right and I hope I learned your name properly. I really, really enjoyed making this balloon garland. Uh, right away, I can tell very good uh, quality balloons also it was very fast for me to make it took me about an hour to make the whole thing overall love it i hope you will enjoy it this balloon kit will be listed uh at the bottom in the description under the video and yeah you guys let's jump into this video i did work with this company before i like the quality of their kids and the prices for their kids are reasonable honestly so you guys what does this kit includes in itself i'm going to show you very quickly so this is a kit that we are reviewing today it's a baby shower uh, kit it does have small white balloons large translucent large white and metallic gold color uh, balloons also this baby um, balloon as well and the price I told you it's reasonable you guys look at this it's $19.99 so let's unpack this uh, kit over here and make this together let's see what we have inside I like that they include this tying tool and you don't have to go and buy it so tying tool a bag of 12 inch balloons a pack of glue dots that's nice and I like their glue dots they're really really nice and they hold your balloons really really good uh, also this baby balloon with a straw to inflate a balloon garland strip and this bag of five inch balloons so let's make this happen you guys one more thing they do have this a card together with a kit and it says that you can um, scan this a barcode right here and it will give you 10 uh, percent off of your next orders all right you guys i am ready to start in this balloon garland i am blowing these balloons individually and tying them individually to tie them i'm using uh, this uh, balloon tying tool that came in a kit why am i tying balloons individually for this balloon garland because we are using a balloon strip for this garland for balloon strip garlands you can't use double or pairs of balloons tied together because knots won't fit through the holes let's start is my balloon strip i am starting with smaller balloons because there's 65 inch balloons and there's five clear ones 10 white and 10 gold so we need to kind of um, place them evenly throughout the whole garland so i'm starting with my smaller balloons so as you can see there's a hole uh, there's two types of balloon strips there's strips that have a uh, smaller or bigger hole than this little slot that you slide your balloon through and then you uh, just secure your balloon in the smaller hole and this balloon strip there's just one hole and that's it so you're taking your balloon and inserting this balloon into this hole and that's that's all you do keep on inserting your balloons 
try to feel your balloon garland see if you need to skip holes if it's gonna get a little tight you know the balloons will start uh, popping out out of the uh, holes then that's the sign for you guys to skip a hole or two and just keep moving keep inserting and uh, keep playing around i will try to kind of guide you through what i'm doing with this balloon strip i am not twisting my balloon strip i don't know that's the way i like it i feel like if you insert you will insert your balloons from back of the balloon strip and in front uh, the balloon garland will not be as tight and not as put together i don't know who tried back in front of the, of the balloon strip let me know but that's the way that i usually go and it works for me so I'm taking my first big balloon and inserting it into my strip. It's looking very cute so far. So let's put one or two smaller balloons. There we go. And then I'm gonna go for a clear one. There's five clear balloons, so I need to be really, really careful with where I insert uh, these clear balloons and then again small balloons do like two or three smaller balloons and then I'll put a big one um, if there is uh, a leftover from five inch balloons it's not a problem I can always always uh, put some glue that's in fill in spaces so I'm not skipping any holes because I'm mostly working with my smaller balloons and your um, balloon strip is not getting overcrowded. Can you say that about balloons? Overcrowded on a balloon strip. So there's not a lot of uh, balloons to kind of push each other out of the balloon strip. So again, I'm taking a gold balloon, bigger one. Again, two, three smaller balloons. I like this balloon garland that it's not over the top of balloon garland, but it's definitely enough, um, enough of action going on on this balloon garland. And it's fairly easy to make as well. Okay, I'm going for the white one right now. Then I'll go, I'll jump into the clear balloon. Again, you guys, I am not skipping any holes. Small ones. 
Uh, I'm not putting more than three five inch balloons into uh, the strip or between my bigger balloons because I'm kind of hoping that I'll have enough balloons left over to play around and fill in spaces on my balloon garland. in between uh, big balloons two five inch balloons in between 12 inch balloons because I have a feeling I'm not gonna have enough five inch balloons I'm trying to space them out evenly I did put three balloons over here of five inch. I'm gonna remove one and add and add one more white one over here just to make this balloon garland a little more tighter. There we go. Okay, much better. I like it. Let's see if I put three anywhere else right here. Okay, I'm gonna insert white one again, or let's do gold. Let's insert gold. So it's better to have uh, 12 inch balloons closer. So I limited uh, two in between uh, my bigger balloons. All right, it's better to have less of these balloons between your 12 inch balloons. So that way your balloon garland will be a little more tighter. And then you can always go and fill in spaces with these five inch balloons and make it more uh, voluminous and more um, prettier, you know, and more full. So let's keep on working. Now I want to insert this clear one right next to this uh, white one, big white one, and then I'm going to insert one, even one or two balloon garlands to give kind of space between these 12 inch balloons. It's much tighter now, and I am liking this. Perfect. Okay, gold one. Awesome. And then one or two smaller balloons. And again, I would go for a white one.
Okay, right now I just uh, want to see if I can substitute any of the balloons over here in the beginning of my balloon garland and I can because there is three balloons, five inch balloons over here and I'm not liking this. So I'm going to take one more gold balloon and insert right over here. And now I am a lot happier with this. So don't be afraid to put 12, two 12 inch balloons next to each other. All right, so now after this 12 inch balloon, five inch balloons, And then again, I need to have 12 inch balloon. Which one should I take? Probably white one. to 5 inch, going back to light, 12 inch column. And then a couple of 5 inch columns. Again, I'm going to go for a gold one. to five inch and we're gonna go for the clear one right now clear one this is our last clear balloon you know what no I'm gonna go for a white one just because these two clear balloons are kind of a little bit too close to each other white one you guys and I'm not twisting my uh, balloon strip two five inch balloons and then I'm going for the clear one perfect again one or two five inch balloons And I'm going for the gold, just kind of mix colors up over here because it's a lot of white. And going for the five inch balloons, one or two again. I think I'm going to insert, let's do two. Let's insert two. And our last 12 inch balloon in white. And voila, this is your balloon garland, ready for you 
attach my balloon garland I am using these really big safety pins I'm gonna scoot you closer uh, and show you how I did that after I uh, placed my balloon garland on the wall you guys use command hooks if you don't have uh, the backdrop and fabric i did use command hook for uh, my last video and they work great i will insert that video in the description down below for you guys to check it out and i did show you how you can um, attach a balloon garland with safety pins and uh, um, fishing line to your doorway so check that video out right now we are using these jumbo safety pins you guys look at my wall do you see this that's where I placed my command hook I tried to take it off properly but the tip that they had like this ear that you have to pull your command hook off uh, the proper way I don't know it kind of ripped off and this is what I am left with you guys it's so upsetting I am so <laughs> thankful that my husband is a painter so he can fix this in no time okay so what I'm doing I'm taking my balloon garland trying to make it even maybe you know like that and I'm going with my safety pin and I'm pinning my balloon garland to right away with these safety pins to my fabric it's looking cute you guys i don't even want to pin it in the middle i kind of like that it goes like this very cute very very cute loving it so far very nice you can always cut this off it's gonna be kind of hard to show you but here you can see my safety pin right there i pinned it to my fabric and then i pinned my balloon strip right into my safety pin right here and that's how it's holding my balloon garland i pinned it on one safety pin on this side and one safety pin on that side right there i didn't pin my balloon garland in the middle so it's holding really really nice and kind of play around with your balloons and twist them uh like i did here this one was kind of hidden over here so I kind of you know push them help them a little bit okay let's cut this down like that looking cute i want to go to this foil baby balloon they do as i said they do have a straw for you guys to blow it up so there's a opening right here so you insert your straw into this opening and start blowing i put it over here instead of on my um backdrop i think i want to put it somewhere where should i put it i think i want to put it over here i will be using my glue dots to glue this baby balloon down so just like that i don't know you can't see just like that let's grab my glue dots and start filling in spaces with left over five inch balloons so these glue dots it's kind of hard to stick them to your foil balloons so you kind of have to place it and rub it in and here is what i have for you guys today i know the lighting is different because i just came back from my appointment as i told you a little bit earlier in this video this balloon garland is extremely easy to make yet it's very very beautiful look at this it looks gorgeous love it it took me literally an hour to make this whole thing 
And yeah, you guys, I will list this for you in the description under the video. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. While I was blowing, nothing popped, nothing deflated, everything, as you can see, great quality. Every balloon is on its place and it's looking fabulous. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoy this one and I will share a few pictures at the end of this video. All right, you guys, so here you have it. Let me know what you think. Was it easy enough for you guys? Because it was really, really easy for me. So if you have any comments or any questions, so please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you are new here you guys so don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below I hope you will have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon bye